we have to make happiness the fucking North Star, not fucking money. Um, so on my social platforms for a while, um, I've been making great videos and I've been like building such a cool community. But anytime I switch something up, they sort of like throw a fit. Like I get like a lot of I miss the old her comments and I wanted to know, like, is there something I'm doing wrong? Is there something I'm not doing that could make us kind of grow together better? Like, I don't want to leave them hanging. What were the videos you were making and what, what are some of the stuff you're mixing in? Yeah, so so I primarily make dance videos and I do a lot of like robotics and a lot of like tutting and things like that. And let's say I didn't tut a lot in a video or I danced to a different <laughs> kind of music. They're freaking out. They're like, I just miss the old ditto. Like I just so, like <laughs> I get it. Ditto Ditto, I went through this hard, hard in two thousand nine. So I did three years every day, five days a week on early YouTube of wine videos. I was one of the first YouTubers that especially right. doing long form and it was all wine. And then I was like, yo, I wanna talk about business cause that's really what I am. And I started making business videos and people fucking lost their mind out of anger. You know, like just didn't like it. Um, Any time that I've taken a step in my business career, like got a TV appearance or got a, had a viral, a micro viral video or like popped off or like hung out with somebody, immediately people are like, you're different, you changed. We missed this, we missed that. Right. The reality is, the reality is you can't get caught up in the comments or the likes or views. You just can't. You have to evolve and they have to follow you and you have to have conviction. I watch so many people not change their shit up even though they want to because they don't like the fact that they get more negative comments and they get less engagement. It's a huge right. mistake. Like you've got to stay the course. Like you're, you're going through your life. You can't be the same girl you were three years ago. Yeah, I cannot. Oh my gosh, I cannot. And, and your self-esteem and your self-worth can't be how many followers or how much engagement you get on Instagram. It just can't. Yeah. And right now we're in a generation where people are starting to think that way. Right. Yeah. It's a it's a scary thing. I mean, when we're living off these brand deals and like that's how we pay our rent, like it's really easy for me to get paranoid about it. I'm at a point now where I'm comfortable and I'm ready to say like, like, I'll let my engagement go down. I'll do this. I just want to like my own content. A hundred percent. And I promise you, when you like your own content, that shit comes back so often, especially if you have talent. Wow. Thank you. Listen, and another thing, you can live in a, you can live, I'd rather you live in a little less fancy apartment. I'd rather you buy one less nice thing, go on one less trip than fucking be unhappy. Right. You know, right. we have to make happiness the fucking North Star, not fucking money or clout. Right. We have to. Right. And you have a responsibility, you have a huge fan base. And so you have to show and lead the way. And then make a video about it be like, yo, I love you fuckers, but I, I'm changing too. <laughs> right. Yeah, I want them to feel like they're growing with me. That's Speak to them. Way. Speak to them. Do your shit. And then the sixth video be like, I love you. I'm so grateful for you. But I'm evolving and so are you. And like, let's, you know, and I appreciate him. By the way, I'll fucking pop and lock for you in a, once in a blue moon for old time's sakes, but I got to do me. I swear. I swear. Yeah, that's what I tell him. I'm like, hey, you missed the old me. The videos are still up. Exactly. And you can, you, can bring it, you can bring it out of the back once in a blue moon, you know? Right. Good luck. Thank you for that getting up so early.